Then I was contender serious. Attempt number two. Then I phoned us again. He's happy with what he's seen. He's also happy with Alejandro Soto. Soto was seven for three. Don't matter. He's going seven for four when I finish with him. Come on now. Ultimate Fighter Championships. That's where we're going. We're going to the UFC. Ain't no one taking that away from us. Are we getting an RKO? Dominic, you are getting an RKO, bro. You are getting an RKO. First round. We need the first round KO. Post to social media. We're going to watch a tape. Alejandro Soto, what type of fight, but fighter are you? You're a half a star fighter. Of course you are. Can I have some competition? I'm injured. Not the uh, best way to be injured. Not the best time to be injured. The worst time to be injured. We are going to put a perk on a set of wood. Um, the perk we're going to get. I think we got to do... Um, we're going to put on fast hands perk. Hooks, uppercuts and overhands are faster and more accurate. Give me it. Give me it, please. Okay, we can't afford to take any more injuries. So we're just going to lightly train. We have one week left. Have we fucked up? No, 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 no. Fighter style. He is a kickboxer. Alejandro Soto is a half star, half a star kickboxer. We are a two and a half star kickboxer. We are ready for Dana White's contender series. Attempt number two now. First, uh, it's the contender series. We won by knockout in the second round. Still wasn't good enough. They want the first round stoppage just to guarantee a USD contract. So we got to be precise in the first round. We've got, we don't want to waste any chances or any punches. We've got to be in, out, and out. We've got to dominate from start to finish. And it's time. Alejandro Soto, the 7 of 3, half a star kickboxer, faces TD9 games. The 2 and a half star kickboxer. Hard work is over, TD9 games. This is the fun part, hopefully. Hopefully. Knockout for TD9 games last time. Hopefully, we will get another knockout. Let's go! I don't want to be mean, but how does TD9 Games think MMA is for him? Okay, that won't hurt. I think I could have knocked out your last opponent, but can you knock out my next one? Time will tell. It's time! Oh, I don't get Bruce Buffer yet. Here we go. I'm younger by two years. He's heavier. And reaches out sort of the same. Let's go. We're ready. Alejandro Soto versus TD9 Games. Dana, where are you at? Are you watching us? Precise T, you gotta be precise. He's hurt, we gotta go, f we gotta chase him funny. One man other than a fight. We got this, this is ours all day. We want to show off for her. I was about to say, I want to show off my whole arsenal. So I was going to go for a takedown and everything. But we're in the UFC right now. That front kick. Dana White's contender series. Let's go. 
do we make a new FC debut? Let's go. It took a little bit longer to get to the UFC, but it's fine. We are a better all round fighter right now. Instead of going under the UFC at half a star, we're coming on a two and a half star. We're four no as a pro, four knockouts. That's fine. Now the real work starts. Dana, I want the UFC contract. Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. That looks sexy. That looks so good. Four fight contract in the UFC. We have four fights to impress to get a new contract. We get $13,000. $13,000 to show up. $13,000 if we won. And if we are a main event, we get an additional 2600 2, I'm going to add a contract bonus. So... Contract bonus we have chosen for her for our for our four fights contract with the UFC. Our first four fight contract with the UFC is in and out to complete one first round finish in four fights. Should be easy to do. The four fights to get one finish on the first round. Should be easy. But now it's the real time. We get to look at the rankings. Sabid the Magma Ship her up up. We get to look hey TD9 games. You just signed your UFC contract and already you've been called out. Everybody wants me. Everybody wants a piece of me. Looks like Roberto Wilder MMA wants to welcome me. The UFC wants to make the fight and sent us the offer. What do you think? Never heard of him. I'll call him out on social media and get eyes on the fight. Let's go. We're going to look at the rankings. You want to fight me? Think that knockout is going to be in a runner for the knockout of the year. Come on now. It's no wonder TD9 Games is the most feared fighter in the sport. Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Powerful and precision is a deadly combination. And I've got both of them. We're going to look at the lightweight rankings right now. Khabib, Norman Geroff, number one. Connor, or champ, Connor won Dustin two. Tony Ferguson, Chandler is in the game now too. Anthony Pettis, Justin Gaethje, Ali Quinta, Kevin Lee, Paul Fetter. In purples and that top pair is fucking nasty. Alexander Hernandez, Benil Darush, Evan Dunham, Leonardo Santos, Bobby Green, anyone not ranked, James Fick, Jim Miller, Joe Duffy from Ireland, Joe Lawson, Mark Diacassi, the guy's nickname we took, Michael Johnson, Nick Lentz, Roberto Wilder was fighting us now, Russ Tam, Kablav, Kabiba, Kabilav, I don't know. Rustam, TD Games, Yancey, Meridas. There's so many bike fighters still not ranked. But our first UFC fight is going to be against... Roberto Wilder. He's 24 and 7. Come on now. 24 and 7. Show me what you got. Show me what you ESPN has a new fighter on board and Roberto Wilder gets his wish to be the one who faces the debutant TD9 games. This may sound cruel, but I have no problem sending TD9 games back to the minor leagues when we fight. I think Roberto Wilder should be worrying about his own future, not mine, because I'm a kill his career. I told you TD9 doesn't duck anybody. Great addition to the roster. Come on now. We got big face lined up guys. Big face lined up. But here we go. UFC debut. We're going to keep this episode just a debut plus the next night hopefully. So you guys can enjoy. Let's go. We're going to train. We're going to train on some boxing. Here we go. UFC debut. Time has come. L L L L. I hope TD9 Games is planning us amping up his trading. I don't need to, Sam. Come on now. I'm speechless after that last KO. What can I say? Knockout machine. Didn't know UFC was starting a new scrub division. Wow. Wow. I think TD9 Games puts his trunks on backward. I actually don't think it do, you know? Be cool, T. There'd always be room for you back in the minor leagues. Just wait. Just you wait, boys. Just you wait. 
TD9 games is the truth. Everybody gonna know after tonight. Let's go, Ellen. Let's go. Fuck the haters. TD9 games gonna find out their levels. Levels, Mac. There's levels. I thought you had to be good to be in the UFC. <laughs> Chad. You thought you had to be cool to be in the Chad. Excited to see what TD9 games brings to the UFC tonight. Let's go. Let's get it. UFC debut. Roberto Wilder. Let's get it, guys. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's, he's on 11 of his last 12 and his last seven in total and in his career. That's fine. Level. That's fine for TV night games. Cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this. This is us. Look at us under sexy Venom outfit. Making his UFC debut, you hear so much about those famed octagon jitters and nerves. Camera's going to be down here in the bottom right for every fight from now on, so it doesn't block anything in particular. I think it's just better. Won five of my last five via KOs. Won five fights in a row by KO, and it's currently on. Undefeated. And a UFC debut, baby Roberto. Well, look, the shape of man came in here in the shape of my life. Don't ask me what the tattoos my arm is. They're just multi colors. Multi colors. That's it. 19 years old. Youngest ever UFC fitter? Question mark? Yes? We're 5 centimeters higher. 15 centimeters reach. Ruffar. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Mountain. And now introducing his opponent, Jeez. out of the red corner, making his Listen to the crowd. Here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Bone Crusher. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Remember the name, Bone Crusher. Remember the name. Let's go, guys. Let's go. UFC debut. Touch gloves. Take My controller's about to die too. And he switches to Southpaw here yet again. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well placed with the kick. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a I've been practicing with takedown defense. <laughs> oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many at all. Oh, that for a right hand round toss. To get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch man over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Look at him working. At trying to shut the liver down. Oh my god! 
Did you see that? And I tried to jump and I caught him with a punch in my ear. Or was it a kick? I think it was a poop. Oh my god. I'm dominating this. That's what you get. He fell so slow. He fell so slow. I'm going to let him get up. We're putting a performance on it on my 60 Gs. That was nasty. We dominated that fight. Maybe it's time to put the difficulty up the, uh, the hardest difficulty in a game right now. I think it's time. Stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. UFC debut. Round one knockout. Four minutes, ten seconds into her debut. Now, we start looking at the rankings. Ain't no messing about it. We want the top guys and we want to know.